Well, there's just a few hanging out anymore harassing me. A lot of them left. Ever since April um, 14th, 22, about 1 o'clock in the afternoon, there's women that follow up, me in there. They said, this is really sick, what's going on? Uh, they really did have a man pretend he was FBI and go up there the night before she called that agent back. Okay? And uh, tell on her that she called the FBI so Dave could confront her. And um, they don't realize they wiped off the remaining quiet before he asked me to. Well, they investigate because I already told Dave I've been the churches. They already knew there is no reason to stay quiet. And where I had giant bruises and hand marks, they were already drugging me in my sleep and having me say something stupid and so I went and remember and abusing me under drugs that's not my fault I was just their victim okay um, but they even said that they had people go down and say they were my kids and bad mouth me so no one would help me and they asked my kids they had nothing to do with it and this whole time it's just been the people hurting me and that's how sick all this is Okay, now it came out March 24th, 22, 1 one thirty, the red apartment building two before mine, mm -hmm. outside stats where they've been yelling illegal surveillance, photoshopping, and drug confessions. I don't know them. Well, some old white man was out there yelling at him so loud. My car still bugged from Will's legal case from the FBI for protective life custody. Okay. Um, and they, these people are so dirty, they sold it to everyone, okay? Uh, and some guys out there, you framed her before? Yeah, I framed her before. Shame on you, okay? Um, and uh, what else? Um, I know I feel bad about everything. Those people even raped her. You should. My neighbor Amy's like, I heard that going on my apartment. Other neighbors are coming out bitching. We heard that they didn't admit to freeing her. Well, they all heard about the ones admitting to drugging me and telling on other people for drugging me and telling me say shit where I've never been questioned. And I only have bruises and I got sick on drinks and got dizzy. Here they were roofing me and amnesia drugging me and lying to people. They had sodium pentothal reports. Okay, and I've never been questioned. Uh, legal surveillance is always thrown out. Because who do you report? The police or anybody else for illegally surveillance your home? Department of Justice, FBI, ICE, local police department to arrest them. Because even the police can't be in there. Right to privacy, uh, it's a legal search and seizure. Okay. And then the law even states that police and agencies cannot be in your home except for under a threat of life. Failure to notify before initiating and speaking to the other person of the threat of life is abuse and misconduct. Failure to protect is abuse and misconduct. Then it goes into the right of privacy, uh, legal search and seizure. Because you could always tell them you don't want their help. It's the United States of America. That's why Officer Reinhardt said until uh, Will at the Canton FBI agreed to protect me. It would be illegal to look or listen. And it's illegal for, no matter what for anybody being in your home. It is. So they run around act like they're going to get money. And they can't. Some lady on Fairline Street was talking to those boys. They'll never get a dime, no, no money on this. No, they can't. They can't even try. Um, yeah, because everybody knows that things have been photoshopped, drugged. And you have to admit to kidnapping me and stalking me in my home. And under false pe pretenses framing me. And, um, yeah, no, you can't ask for a dime out of this. You go to jail for it. It's attempted extortion under kidnapping drugs. And, yeah, you can't. That's all there is to it. Um, uh, but, yeah, the remaining quiet got wiped out before I have even talked to one. You don't stay quiet when the bad guys already know. And if they wouldn't have me, I only remember the word of shame coming. I didn't remember the tramp of uh, the guy threatened to knife me and Johnny will be the same guy that tried to kidnap me, trying the other guy, um, 
uh, carjacking, um, it's the same guy. Because if you listen, Dave, I hired a man to slit your throat, stab you in the heart, you'll bleed out, I have a man to shoot you if you run. And then uh, the church is hiring two men to kill me. Okay. There is a six foot dark haired guy um, that is the tempted kidnapper, tempted um, carjacker, and the guy that threatened to knife me when I opened the Huntington Bank account. Um, now, Dave made a mistake on that day, September 21st, 18. He calls me, Where are you at? I'm buying something for dinner. I have a phone call. I, I ask him not to go. I try to call him back a few times. Okay. And I see they're giving flu shots. And I go ahead and get one. I got dizzy sit on the bench. I hear a voice. I can't believe she's here. Okay. And I go to walk off. He comes up and threatens to knife me. And I make a big line for the bank and open an account. They pulled the day I pulled, which is September 28, 21st, 18. Uh, between 11 and 3. He'll call me and I'll try to call him back and he won't call me back for oh, about 15-20 minutes. Then I put him on hold because I didn't want him to know how he just did it. He either called someone to call him, he called him directly, or the Pizza Hut lady that came up and said I get paid to watch her and it makes her yelling at her. You can't pay someone to watch somebody's stalking. You can't interfere in somebody's life. Yeah. So, and he's yelling at her, and that guy walks out around me. That's one of them. There's also a tall, dark-haired man with an eagle tattoo. And then the white-haired guy with hazel blue eyes at Wood Forest. It should be before Christmas of 18. Um, comes up behind me. I'm part of the 25,000. Strange hiding me. I want to see him. He comes around and smiles at me, and I just... Okay. He's seen with the guy that threatened to knife me at Johnny Wood Grinders in January 19th. And how they have a field picked out south of Ravenna. That's how not funny this is. Alright. <clears throat> Alright. So, and I almost got shot in the head driving within the first 45 days. I was in Dollar General Saturday morning by 11. Some little kid was talking to its mom. Um... Those bastards actually framed her before she said yes. Uh, I told these people stop saying stuff to her. They know I was framed. Don't give them, it's just, they got bred it up. They made mistakes. Okay? They couldn't look at their stuff anyways. They have, it will couldn't have known one thing. Because if he would have known one thing and he didn't arrest him, it would have made him an accessory dog. And leaving me up there to die on purpose. Gross negligence is one thing of underplaying it, thinking it's stalkers, and the police can handle it, put him in protective life custody, list or inform it, and I want to touch her again in her life. Underplaying and thinking the situation and being negligent and not looking into it is one thing, and having knowledge and letting it happen to their victim is another. Um, so I think, like the guy said, he did little with the case and left it on his desk. Just gross negligence. I never had to stay quiet. And, um, yeah. And I can get, I already gave you a big list of who all knew. Oh, they drugged me. Different people drugged me. I was even in Shine last month. And whereas in Shine last month, um, they said that somebody was in the back room talking to them. We can never look or listen to these people's tapes. We just want their involvement in this. Okay. And then the hairdresser starting to talk to another hairdresser when I go to back bathroom they know realize everything was photoshopped. It was. At the Oakland apartment December 9th, twenty one, four PM someone told him everything was drugged and photoshopped and he told the camp place and one of my security guards from the case, a uh, white man bald dark guys um, at the Star County Hunger T Task Force by one told everyone in the back that they always knew and he told two investigators um, and so yeah everybody knows and there's still like I said there's only a few left 
Now, about three nights ago, uh, 11 45 to midnight, I get home. Um, and these weirdos walk around my apartment, okay, and say stuff all night. The ones that are trying to kill me. Two guys, real loud, walk by the apartment. That man actually framed her before? Yeah, he framed her before. I don't want these people saying anything. I've made a ton of money off of this. Where they've been selling the login to a real police investigation that will from the camp and FBI turn them over to them. Those dirty Ravenna cops. And some acting has made a ton of money. They said they were selling the login by December 18th in Walmart for $25 a pop. Okay, they made millions. And somebody needs to arrest these dumb, crazy people because, like they said, it's sick. It's never been the FBI. It's only been the people hurting her the whole time. This thing is sick. Well, I thought it was the FBI, too, and that's why I apologized a long time ago in one of the videos. They said they were agents from the agency stationed in the courthouse. No, they're dirty cops. They walked around Walmart. Some of them said they were hammers, and the case is called Karen's Will from the agency. Um, yeah, and then they even framed the FBI March 13, 21, Altman Hospital that the agency took me. Someone needs to pull Will's case. 12, 21, 18 stabbed in the neck of the refrigerator. Woke up with a big dent in my head. Hair missing, and a giant bruise underneath my ribs. I was out for six hours. A head spinning, my head's pounding. Another man's coma on the dresser, Dave's screaming at me. I had a fear I'm like, I don't know what happened. And then I go back to sleep and I wake up with more bruises and they're breaking and stabbing me with needles. It's documented. I weighed 212 to 217 October 1st, February 24th of 19. Within four months, I weighed 150 pounds. I couldn't even keep saliva. They were drugging me to the point I couldn't keep nothing down. I lived through hell up there in a concentration camp trying to save my family. Because Dave said, Dixie and the baby be next. They teach Josh a lesson for letting me down there. He's so angry he got his hands off so he couldn't work. And they had a list of people. And then Dave came up to me and realized I'll kill everything he ever loved in life. And I thought, you'll go through me. You'll get caught going through me. You won't kill and then they had attempts on Dixie and the baby and Josh with tampering with their vehicles. I stay quiet for all that time trying to protect him. And when some lady said that her husband got killed, and I think she's just an extortionist, I went to get her help and they tortured me and put that on the internet. This whole case is sick. And somebody needs to help. Because what's going to stop them from picking out somebody else? nothing until somebody actually arrests them. They told that it's just a bunch of men doing crimes down here. That's it. And I guess the guy at the hunger task force was a security guard said they always knew it was them. And that is what's going on. It's just a bunch of criminals. Lying they had quorums to watch me. And all this you can't get a quorum to watch somebody. I've never even been questioned. Or accused with Miranda rights. Never prosecuted. Never found guilty in trial. Nothing. I have bruises. I got sick on some drugs. That's it. I faced stalkers. I faced shooters. I faced a gunshot knife. I have abducted. I have got raped and tortured and publicly humiliated. They have ran this thing like a fucking live merch movie. Everybody's got it. It's public knowledge right there. Public knowledge. And gross negligence is an understatement of not looking into it that they were doing it for George, his retired George Pete's daughter, Michelle. Young blonde girl. He was dating a, some guy, said some guy, a girl named Lauren. Some big fat blonde girl with big boobs said she was dating him too and a pretty brown hair girl. He went like male whore on me. But the real pretty young one girl was supposed to be Michelle. 
Dixie thing. And it just, uh, yeah. The undercover police were prevent our funny to one for that one. Yeah. They need to check into the army base, see what, what the connection is with that, too. They said they manipulated those guys in helping when they showed them their altered tapes and drug confessions. And it's not funny stabbing somebody in their sleep with needles or roofing drinks and tell them say something stupid and they never talk to anybody. I was beat, raped, tortured by a cop stalker, an old fat white man. I finally said yes to anything they wanted between July and September 19th. You can pull Will's um, protective life case in legal surveillance September 28th. 18 started and get the baskets and it's Will's negligence where I was being victimized that he should already found out that I was told off and uh, that they wiped out the remaining client that's all there is to it you know stay quiet once the bad guys snap so yeah they already took care of that themselves where they thought it was, they were being funny doing it. And then Dave could confront me, called the FBI on me. And I'm like, what'd you expect? They've threatened my life and them. And then the next day when I go to call Will back, I didn't call Will back. He just left his number. Took a card out to Sarah. I had asked Sarah, a case jeweler, will you witness for me? She's like, Karen, I'm scared for you. Of course I will. I put Will's number. I said, if I call someone, I put Will's number and a card. For her getting married, we went out to the mall, dropped it off. Her manager put it in her locker because she had already left. We go into Apostolic Church of Barberton. Paul Pamer gets in Dave's face. My God, I had an FBI agent in my office, and I walk off and he's looking at me. And uh, he looks like the guy from the cooking show. You know, his face, shave it, and fill it out in a little more hair because he's younger, seeing glasses and everything. Okay? Dave comes in, let's go. In the vehicle, he's like, You called FBI on I me? Mean, I was like, What did you expect? You're threatening my life and these other people. And he's like, You're lucky I don't take care of myself. He's got a loaded gun between the council. And I go to put my arm on it so he can't open. He knocks it off. I literally had my hand on that door handle. On the way home, I didn't know if I'd have to jump out. He's sitting there threatening my life on the way home. Right? So the next morning, I have to call Will. My marriage is over. They've been trying to kill me. I was too stupid to put it together. It was them. And my head's spinning, and I can't think, and I'm crying. And it's just like, I couldn't even think. And where all those things happen, I can only remember to tell Will put a shake on it. That's how far my mind was just spinning from being drugged up. That's not my fault. I didn't even remember telling him there was men on the other side of the duplex with a copy of my phone knocking me. Yeah, and how did they get it? It's illegal for the police to have a copy of your phone, except for the threat of life case. Yeah, not everything's illegal. Yeah. I need somebody to help me and will promise me an account for when this is over to start over for meeting why I got wiped out before he asked me you don't want to say he knew any of this that would make him an accessory yeah those ladies even said people had they had people go down and act like they were my kids bad mouth me before I called that agent back and so no one would help me and they asked my kids and they didn't know anything about it well don't you think will would have addressed it with me and said, hey, lady, he didn't. You know what he did? Go have a life of peace. That's an informant. Nothing legally stated they did against you again. We'll always pull it back to the traffic ticket, even when you tell. And only for you and only for you will we do this for. We'll always put it back as if it never happened. I want traffic ticket for me and I. Um, so, yeah. And then uh, no man will ever touch you. Trust no man. Um, and, uh, I got a count set up for when this is over for you to start over. They said he just left me on his desk and did little with the case while I lived in the concentration camp. Gross negligence. Understatement. Understatement. You should make him watch what they did to me. Seriously. It's 
especially the rape and torture between July and September 19. We can watch 12, 20, 1, 18 step and then I could ever fit to find out all everything they did to me. I was out for six hours. Yeah, you can watch the gunshot night right before Christmas 18 day we getting caught outside stating they killed people. Okay? Well, I'm hiding not to get murdered. Uh, yeah. And if you actually you do research on this case, you can even, Walmart said they still have all those uh, videos of those people pretending to be FBI. In Walmart, we're here for Karen's will. Or, no, what they'll say is the case is called Karen's will from the agency. We're agents from the agency stationed in the courthouse. People claim they're handlers. I didn't have a handler. Um, and then, don't you remember your, uh, don't you, uh, we always knew you were innocent. Don't you remember the sodium pentacle? Tell someone you're innocent. They wouldn't even threaten me. People admit to drugging. Stalkers chased off Michelle's mother Memorial Day weekend 2019 at the food counter. A white woman break into an African-American man screaming out how they did all this for her daughter. Uh-huh. They said they still have all that crazy tapes. Uh-huh. Yeah, including they stayed out of the gunshot night for that girl. They were leaving me in high danger that they knew I had almost been shot driving within the first 45 days. And they were leaving me in high danger by the register. Yeah, it, it, it's just been like a live perch movie down here, and it's public knowledge. Um, somebody needs to do something about this, or they grab somebody else. And March 13, 21, Altman Hospital tapes throughout the whole hospital for medical malpractice. They frame the FBI. They come in and said, we're here for Karen's will, the agency chipped her. The nurse points right at me, is that why she's here? An old woman gets in my face. The agency wanted the toad that I That's why they tripped. I'm like, shut up. It's legal. Okay. And then in the back, they tell Dr. Alan and Tina, some damn master nurse took me. He said, he already knew. And there's a bunch of people in there pretending to be FBI there. Okay. They're, they're real. They're used for medical field patients. Paralyzed man plays video game with brain chip. Paralyzed man plays a uh, computer with brain chip. Comes up with their cell phone 616. Uh, but it's an illegal strategy for the turret. Um, I have to have something in me. I can't an officer walk by and it's bounding. But like the lady said, this thing's sick. The whole thing's sick. It's just been the people hurting her doing this. But I'll tell you what. Someone needs to pull uh, my kid's account. They took one dime. After I laid my life down and looked through that hell. Put them in jail. Because everybody knows everything was photoshopped and dropped and I've never talked to anybody. So yeah, lock them up. Some guy looked at me and said, you know better and feel sorry for no man and you know better and apologize to no man. Yeah. How could freeze over first? Some lady at 1295 Fairlawn sitting outside and I said, those boys will never get a dime out of this. No, they won't. And some lady said, it's not my kids, it's just the people hurting me. But if they're stupid enough to put their name on it, that's how somebody, yeah. Then, and try to extort money out of framing somebody and altering tapes and dragging them up, then put them in jail. They're not mine. Because I raised them better, and I almost died to save them. I don't tolerate stuff like this. I almost died to save them, and I lived through a hell in a concentration camp letting these people go after me, trying to protect my children, and where Dixie and Josh had their vehicles tampered with afterwards, after you put a threat on. Logs nuts, taken off, so the tire came off driving, and released, and again, thank God she came back. They slashed tire flat tires. They played with his brake system so his tires would explode when he pulled forward. They... Uh, he took the car instead of Dixie that day, and it blew up on the highway. He barely made it out a lot. I sleep quiet, trying to keep it so people drive around their house, trying to keep them safe. I was bullied out of my jewelry. After the baby was born, they put a threat on my on her life, and then ordered me to give my jewelry back. And Wendy's mask on in December 18, and I thought if I gave him 18 grand, I'm jewelry back to leave. My granddaughter alone and didn't help. They're murderers. Some lady said that's what's wrong here is they're murderers. Um, <clears throat> and they are. 
And yeah. It's just criminals down here. And they don't think anybody stop them. And it's going to take somebody with integrity to actually stop him. Because what's going to stop him from doing this to another person? Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And they can't ever, like Officer Ryan Harlan as well, they could never look or listen to those tapes. Nothing before a Will's protected life case. It's illegal to look or listen, and it's illegal to be in somebody's home that is. And like I said, a lot of them have gave up since it came out. That guy flat out admitted he framed me. And um, where that guy said he's made a ton of money off this. And those women saying how it's sick that it's only been the people hurting me the whole time. Yeah. I need help, and I need somebody to show up here and start arresting these people. Uh, called Sir Evil, Jim Jones killed all those people. Uh, had people slit their throats on their each other family members, shoot them, pour cyanide down their face, in their throats. Uh, <clears throat> they had uh, David Crush burned all those people. Um, a called Sir Evil and put it in with a crooked police department. And it's deadly. So, I need somebody to help. And like I said, well, couldn't have known anything. Because it would have made him an accessory to all this. And I don't think he did. I think the guy's already just left the bar and I don't believe it. Reinhardt knew him. He said he's retired. But me staying quiet. Well, they investigate, they already knew. Don't stay quiet when the cat's out of the bag. Didn't matter who told. But you told before, if they asked me, just stay quiet while they investigate. And I hadn't even called well back. And if it, that's a bitch move. And it's a bitch move, you drug me up so I couldn't remember. That is a very bitch move. This whole case has been nothing but bitch moves. And like the lady said in Save a Lot, April 14th, 22. By one o'clock. It's sick. This whole thing's sick. It's been the people hurting it the whole time. The FBI had nothing to do with it. They did have that man pretend to be FBI and go tell them Dave and the drug user. The whole thing's sick. It is sick. And then they had people pretend they were my kids, bad mouthing me to people so they wouldn't help me. We ask our kids, they knew nothing about it. She said the whole thing. They were in there, save a lot, talking about how sick all this is. It's very sick. Like I said, there's only a few hanging out anymore. They're trying my screen. Like the worst. They told me they do this. Uh, remember the truth. They're trying to implant lies. They're trying to steal everything you have in them. The agents are so corrupt. They'll try to steal seven objects. Um, they toy with their victim um, and tell you what they're going to do like they can't be a single woman by herself we can't have her see what happened up there they raped and tortured they play with you and then they get around to it um, so and the last threat is but they have a field picked out so the revenge to cut up my face and stab me to death I really don't want that to happen not even a little bit sounds painful um, so, I mean, I've already faced so much, and it's public knowledge. Somebody needs to 